so this gentleman that we're about to see has had a vasectomy in the past and, um, and he and his partner are trying to have another child. Um, they have chosen the pathway of in vitro fertilization or IVF. So today we're going to be doing a simple sperm retrieval called a testicular sperm aspiration uh, or possibly a, an epididymal sperm aspiration. And you'll see through the procedure this is a relatively straightforward and comfortable procedure for men. Um, and we'll also be doing some sperm identification uh, at the end of the procedure to make sure we've got the right tissue and the right amount and then we'll be sending this tissue off to the IVF center. During the procedure, he, he, he is um, quite comfortable. Um, I do anesthetize the testicle, so uh, really uh, after the initial poke burn um, and a little bit of pressure, uh, men are not typ typically feeling any sharp pain. Uh, they simply feel pressure during the procedure and tugging. Um, so we proceeded to uh, anesthetize the testicle and aspirate uh, a small amount of uh, tissue called seminiferous tubules uh, from the right testis. Um, I then took a small, very small sample um, from that uh, tissue, uh, morselated the tissue and um, placed it on a microscopic slide. So what we're doing under the microscope here is uh, I've obtained some tissue from the testicle um, and this tissue is called seminiferous tubules. And what I've done then is morselated that tissue uh, or the seminiferous tubules to express sperm out from within them. And now we're looking for sperm uh, under the microscope. Yeah, so we have confirmation of sperm. I am seeing sperm uh, under the microscope after just taking the smallest uh, tubule possible to simply identify and confirm for sperm. So I know that we're going to be okay based on the amount of tissue I'm sending back, um, that we're going to be we're going to be okay for IVF and, and, and likely storage for multiple cycles of IVF. So I confirmed that I had an adequate amount of tissue uh, for at least um, several cycles of IVF. Now this tissue will be uh, was placed into a uh, sperm cryopreservative uh, and this will be taken uh, to the fertility center uh, for the next steps which would be uh, in vitro fertilization uh, with ICSI. After the procedure he should have a pretty smooth recovery. I do ask all of my patients to um, take it easy over the next couple of days. Um, they will use uh, Tylenol and ibuprofen uh, as the main source of uh, pain control um, because generally um, they're only feeling some soreness. Uh, they'll wear tight-fitting underwear, do some icing on and off, and they should be able to resume most if not all of their activities um, uh, by five to seven days.